Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is day 21 of the challenge, and the pain continues for me. That's all right, though. I kept it small. Minus 7% for the day. Four trades, minus 11, break even, minus 50, and plus 40. And you can see I took a couple of those as hedges, and I'll dive right into that. Hope everyone's having a great day. And I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'm overwhelmed with, with all the support so far. So I didn't know if anyone would want to watch when I started. And so the fact that anyone's watching is is fantastic. So anyways, without further ado, diving right into that first trade here. You can see and hear my child in the background. You can see I got in right here at on this yellow candle or sorry yellow arrow at 954 the 421 calls for nine dollars and i basically held that for all day so i'll get back to that in a second trade number two was a 394 put i got at 10 for ten dollars at 1003 and the the entry and exit looks pretty good but because of volatility the way it was going up and down today i just didn't get anything from it so that's okay. I got out break even just below, just before it broke out of. Um, I would have been down about 40% for a while, and then ultimately it did run back in here, and I could have made uh, about 40% if I would have held through all of that. So, you know, what are you gonna do? I was happy to get out break even. I'm trying to keep the losses extra tight. As you can see, the minus seven percent on the day was was the result of that. Um, trade number three was a 386. 386 put I bought for six dollars and I held that as a hedge for this initial p position right here so I bought that right here before the FOMC meeting came out and honestly I thought I was gonna get some good profit when it dropped down to here but nothing was happening the volatility was so crazy that I, I didn't even get profit I think maybe 10% for a second on that so that was a little surprising I was like man that did not work out. What would have worked better is if I had more capital and I bought a contract higher up. That would have paid off well. Um, but because of how far it was away from the strike, um, it didn't do anything for me. So it is what it is. That's okay. Um, and then I did make one more good trade right here. The 416 call at 1442. So once I saw the trend was going up, and my biggest regret was just not having more um buying power left at this point so again i should have just waited till after the meeting because this uptrend was nice right here um, once the market did finally decide what it was going to do it was very choppy for a while as you can see meeting came out right here at 1400 and then chop 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 bounced right off 402 and then i got in right here at 1443 this 416 call for five dollars and that was about all the buying power i had left and i sold right here at the top uh, for seven dollars for a quick 40 percent so i was very happy with that last trade um that's what i wanted to to end the day with so almost came out profitable and um, i was still holding this 386 put and i almost cut it right here um it would have been a break even but i should have cut it right there because then i would have ended the day green but that's okay so um it ripped through and that's part of the reason why i didn't cut it because i didn't have much of a chance um this bounce was so aggressive but by the time it was right here, it was already like $3, I think. And then quickly it was $2 to here. And so I just held it for a while. Um, and then it started coming back down. And it was sitting at 2 for a while. And then eventually I did cut it for $3. So I was happy to get out at 3 instead of 2 But ultimately I wish I got out at 6 But what are you going to do? You know, you live and you learn. And uh, I'm happy to trade another day. And, um, yeah, here's a quick glance at the account. You can look. I won't. It's okay. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, I know this was quick, um, please leave them down below. And, uh, yeah, I try to keep it quick and simple here. Um, and I'm trying to show everyone how it's <laughs> you can trade starting with $20. Right now I'm trying to show everyone not to blow up your account. So, um, you know, it's all part of the process, all part of the challenge. You know, I've done this before, so I know it's possible. I've never filmed myself do it and posted it online, which is a whole nother thing. So anyways, I appreciate everyone so much. I hope you stay happy and healthy and I'll see you tomorrow.